Lesson 8-5, page 259 from the Math Journal. Okay, boys and girls, here we're looking at number line models. We're simply trying to find the fraction of a whole number. For example, if I ask you, what is half of 12? You will tell me it is 6, correct? Well, here we have a tool that we have where we have a ruler that's been the numbers have been broken up for us so that we can see what's between 0 and 1, 1 and 2, and what's between 2 and 3. Okay? And this is a tool for us to help us identify where a half of 3 would be, for example. Question 1. Here we have what is half of 3? Uh, we have to go ahead and look. Here we have 0 and here we have 3 half would fall right in the middle of the two, okay? That's easy for us to see, that our answer would be one and a half, because that's exactly the middle point between zero and three. We don't always have this tool, though, so there is a better way that we can do so that we, we don't have to use this tool. This is just a nice visual for us to see, okay? Whenever you see this off, for example, if I tell you half of three, three quarters of two, half of a half, half of three quarters, what you want to do is replace this off with a multiplication sign. And you know how to multiply fractions. You take the whole number and you make the whole number a fraction as well. And you multiply across. Let's take a look down here. Let's do it right here. So that was half of 3. Right? Let's turn the 3 into a fraction and we multiply across. 1 times 3 equals 3. 2 times 1 equals 2. We're left with an improper fraction. But how many 2's are in 3? one and what do we have left over there's a one left over over two so one and a half just as we predicted here we said that between three and one and zero is one and a half and there's our answer okay let's take a look at the next one the next one we have a quarter of two right here a quarter of two. Let's see. We move this out of the way, out of the way, and let's move this out of the way too. A quarter of two. I said replace the off with the multiplication sign and off two. Let's take let's make the two over one. Okay. And let's go ahead and multiply. One times two. Two. 4 times 1, 4. Let's simplify it, and we have, this is a half, right? Because 2 is half of 4. Half. So, a quarter of 2 is a half. Is that true? Let's see. What's a half plus a half? 1, right? Plus a half, one and a half. Plus a half, it equals two. Right? Here we have one, and here we have two. See? So a quarter, we're saying one, one of four, one, two, three, four. Okay? One of four, okay, is a half. So a quarter of two is a half. Okay, let's look at one that might be hard to do. Let's jump right down to number 10. Okay, for number 10 we have a, what is a half of three eighths? Okay, hmm, there's another trick for me to teach you here. Remember, if you want to make this, find what a half of this is, Okay, 
you make this into a half by doubling the numerator. Double the numerator because it's going to make it smaller. Remember, when the numerator is bigger, this number has less value. The numerator has less bigger. So if you take the denominator here, the denominator is the bottom number. I might have said that wrong, I'm sorry. The denominator, when it's bigger, the numerator has less value. If we wanted to make it exactly half, we just double the numerator. So it would be 3 over 16. That would make it half of 3 eighths. Or let's simply go ahead and let's try it. Let's take one half of, remember I said replace it with a time, three eighths. Okay, can we do any cross reference? No, and no, no cross reference. We can't reduce. So let's just go ahead and multiply one times three, and two times eight, and there's our answer. 3 sixteenths, 3 sixteenths. All we had to do was just double this because we're asking for half of it. For questions 12 to 21, we will continue to do the same. Remember, you can just replace the off with the multiplication sign and turn the whole number into a fraction. That's the simplest way to do it. 2 times 12, 24. And 3 times 1, 3. 24 divided by 3, 8. And there's your answer. Okay? It's very simple. Remember to just go straight across. You go across, which ends up multiplying, and then you end up dividing by this number. Quite simple. Because it's 2 times 90, 180. And then it's 3 times the pretend 1 that we have there, 3 times 1, which is going to put a 3 there, but you're, you're going to end up dividing it. 180 divided by 3, it's 60. So 2 thirds, 2 thirds of 90 is 60. 2 thirds of 12 is 8. And that's true. Let's think about this. When we think of two parts of three parts of 12, and we take the number 12, we take the number 12, right? And we are saying that 12 is broken into three parts. Three parts would make it 4 plus 4 plus 4. And I'm asking you what two parts of three parts of 12 is. Two parts of three parts of 12 is. Two parts. So these two parts are right here. What's four plus four? Eight. Okay, boys and girls, I hope that helps. On page 260 and 261, we're giving a new two, they're giving us or we are given a new tool to find fraction of a fraction. For example, in number one, we are looking for what is half of a half. So here we have a hole, right? This is a hole. It's one solid hole. And we have to find, we're talking about a half, right? We're looking for half of a half. So it, let's only work with a half, right? So let's not count this. We're only working with this, okay? And now they want to know what a half of this half is. So let's find that half. And there we have it. We don't, we're not going to count this either. So this is what we want. Half of a half. Well, what is what is this value? If you're thinking a quarter, you are correct. Because if we draw a line of a half here, 
and then we draw an equal line this way, you can see that this is one part of four parts, of four equal parts. So a half of a half is one quarter. Okay, let's try the tool again for number two. Two thirds of a half. Again, we they only want us to work with the half. So let's get rid of this bottom part of the hole that we're not we're not going to work with it because they say they're telling us to only work. They only want to know what two thirds of a half is. Okay, and now two thirds. They want us to take that half and break it up into three parts. Right? There it is. So what is two thirds? Okay, I have one and I have two, and we're not gonna count the third one because we only will have two of three. What is that in the big picture? Well, let's take a look. We cut it first into a half, and now if we were to cut it into even parts, we it's gonna all look like this. How many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so two-thirds of a half. So we take one, two, and we write it up here, two, because we have one and two, and we're not counting three, four, five, six, but it is out of six parts. Let's simplify that. It would be one-third. So, two-thirds of a half is one-third. Remember the best way to also do this, okay, is by, okay, it's by, oh, I'm trying to erase this, but it won't erase. Anyways, the best way, another way to do this is to just directly multiply across. What's two times one? Two. Three times two? Six. Simplify it? One third. That's another very easy way to do it. Okay, go ahead and finish questions one to eight on pages 260 to 261.